I'll give you five wingers that are all debatably or arguably better than um, Salah. And if I prefer these five wingers, you can't. Okay, Eden Hazard, Cristiano Ronaldo, Riyad Mahrez, Ryan Giggs, and Gareth Bale. R- Riyad Mahrez. Absolutely, Riyad, Riyad Mahrez. Mahrez. He's won five Premier Leagues. Bro, are you guys just going to forget the Premier League that he won with Leicester City, bro? Come on, bro. He's won the same number of Premier Leagues with Leicester City as Salah has. It was Kante. It, was it Kante. wasn't just Kante. Let's not be silly now, bro. And then he won four, four more Premier Leagues with, um, with uh, what's it called? With Man City. <sighs> you know, I do love football podcasts and shout out to every content creator out there it's very tough to come in front of the camera and speak have the microphone most people won't do this or either they don't have the cojones to do it or they're scared and rightfully so but if you're gonna make comments like this we have to react and i find that every day i'm gonna find something new and mostly it's from rory jennings because the guy is just a clown but this is egregious this is sacrilegious as stephen a smith would say Salah is not a top five winger in Premier League history. Now, I want to know your list in the comments down below. What's your top five? Because Salah is most definitely a top five winger. There is no debate. Do you want to check the numbers? Oh, let's check the numbers here, people. This is Salah's record against all of the Premier League teams, or at least the top six. He's got 14 goals against Man United. 14. He's got 10 against Arsenal, 12 against Tottenham, 11 against Man City, and 7 against Chelsea. Those are absurd numbers. And shout out to the guy. I don't know his name. I've seen him on Footy Judge Mo. Shout out to Footy Judge Mo and that and that channel. But him saying, okay, yeah, Salah's got one Premier League and Mahrez has got five Premier Leagues. Is this an individual sport? Is this tennis? Is this squash? Is this badminton? Is this ping pong? Shout out to LeBron from uh, the Olympics, the French table tennis player. Great name. This is not individual sport. This is a team sport. It's not Salah's fault that they only won one Premier League. No, it isn't. And the fact that, okay, you know, if we go back time and check up, check on this, is that Liverpool basically lost those Premier Leagues by one point. One point. And again, I'm going to show this, people. Look at look at Salah's record in the Premier League. What is that? Because I, I can't really see. 32 goals his first season. 22, then 19, then 22, 23, 19, 18 teams would cr- if Chelsea saw this and he was 22 years old they would pay 300 million straight up to Liverpool they would because those numbers are absurd and I'm not just talking about GA and GA because you know a lot of people like to talk about GA in today's football but those numbers are astonishing from a player who really you know he didn't sign for big money for Liverpool and people were like oh okay you're just signing this rapid guy from AS Roma from Fiorentina from Basel from Chelsea he flopped at Chelsea what is he really gonna do at Liverpool look what he did he destroyed the Premier League destroyed he gave nightmares to Man City he gave nightmares to Man United and he's going to continue doing that now is this maybe his last season for Liverpool who knows but the idea that Salah is not even a top five winger it's just absurd to me now okay look if you don't like liverpool fair enough right i don't i don't like particular clubs in football i don't particularly like manchester united i don't particularly like chelsea i don't particularly like juventus but i can still be objective and say oh my god you know cristian ronaldo paul Scholes, michael carrick man those guys were ballers or juventus you know pogba to claudio marquisio to all of those guys they're ballers to say that salah Salah, if there was a starting 11 of the best players in the Premier League history, Salah would start at right wing. T- tell me otherwise. Who who else would start in that right wing? You could give me Mares. Ma- <laughs> There's no doubt. Mares was sensational. for Le- What he did for Leicester was astonishing. Same thing what he did for Man City. Ryan Giggs has got the beautiful Chester running down the wing. I think that was in the FA Cup though, but you get the point. Cristiano Ronaldo, can't deny it. Best Cristiano Ronaldo was most definitely at Real Madrid, but he was also great at Manchester United. Gareth Bale, he put Bale over Salah? I'm sorry, Bale was basically playing at right wing for two seasons, and you're going to put him over Mohamed Salah? Now, there's the endless debate between Salah and Hazard. I'm not even going to go into it because that's just for Twitter merchants and people who want to have good clickbait titles on YouTube. Hazard is a great player and what he did at, in the Premier League was sensational it's unfortunate that he really flopped at Real Madrid and then just decided to have a you know charity match 
career. That's basically what Hazard has become, unfortunately for him. But Salah is definitely better than Bale in the Premier League. Salah is definitely better than Modest in the Premier League. And the only caveat you can give me when it comes to Modest and Salah is Premier League titles. And of course, Modest is going to win that debate. And then people will come with the, oh, but Modest is aesthetically pleasing. He was much better dribbler of the ball. Okay, and I agree with that. If you want to talk about football ability, okay, Modest is better. The stepovers, the close control, dribbling, great goals. But look at what Salah has. The goal Salah scored against Chelsea, Man City, Man United. I mean, some of the individual goals. He can give you long range shots. He can give you dribbling past three, four players. Salah, for me, is a complete player. Complete. He'll give you the assists. Look at how many assists he has in the Premier League. Come on, man. This is like the, the fact that people will say this just, just for clickbait titles. Look. Maybe some people on that podcast didn't agree with him, and hopefully not, because I think that is just a ludicrous statement. But the disrespect I think Salah gets from rival fans... And look, I'm not trying to hype up Salah saying he's the greatest Premier League player of all time. He's not. He's not that. But he is definitely in the starting 11 for the best Premier League players of all time. That shouldn't be debatable. He has shown you time and time. People would have said 17, 18. Okay, one season wonder. What is he going to do? 18, 19. All right, he gave you 18, 19. Okay, you didn't win the Premier League. Next season, he gets you the goals and the assists to lead Liverpool to the Premier League title. Not just him, but obviously the whole team. The only argument people can give against Salah is, why don't you have more Premier League titles? But I will say this. Is this an individual sport? Is this tennis? Is this squash? No, it isn't. It's a team sport. And Salah always has produced for the team now maybe other players haven't produced and that's a whole different discussion on another video Salah is a top three winger of all time in the Premier League him Hazard Cristiano Ronaldo you can name others Thierry Henry other guys like I don't know why Salah gets disrespected is it because his name is not Salah Inyo or something like that does his name need to be Salah Inyo or I don't know what's an English name for it Savage? Does his name need to be Savage in order to get some respect and notoriety and say, oh my god, you are one of the greats of Premier League history. And just the last point I'll say about this. Salah, whether this is his last season or not, should get one of the greatest receptions ever at Anfield for what he has done for Liverpool Football Club and for what he has done for the Premier League. You know, the goals, the assists, the moments, I mean, just... I will never forget that moment where he scored that long-range goal against Chelsea and did the Faro celebration. Oh, it was just sensational. And you know, he was so happy to score against Chelsea, his old club. But the last point I'll make is, Salah is definitely a top five winger in Premier League history. And if you disagree, please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Remember to follow me on all the socials, Twitter, Instagram, join the Discord. All those links are in the description down below. Have a beautiful day. Stay safe in this crazy world. And Salah is definitely an EPL legend. Adios.